Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Baptist and Nation. So delighted you can join us today. So unfortunately, it turns out there's a bug in Baptist Center 33. I don't think it was there in Baptist Center 32. It's with respect to the trash can. You can't delete files successfully with the trash can. I reached out to one of the developers, Nicholas, and he gave me a quick solution. So this is going to be a quick tutorial for those of you who are trying to delete your files, uh, PC uh, in Baptist Center and not be successful. All right, let's go ahead and load up Baptista and let me share with you the quick solution. Okie dokie, so in Baptista, let's go ahead and press F1 and share with you the problem and then the solution. All right, so let's go into my games folder. And most recently, I was working on the Philips CDI, okay? So let's say I want to go ahead, you know, I tried it out, eh, I wasn't crazy about it. I don't want to have this collection no more. I select all and I go into properties. You can see that I got 8.4 gigabytes worth of files. Okay. On the bottom here it tells you how much I have space, free space on my current drive. So if I delete all of this, it should increase by 8.4 gigabytes. Well, so what happens? So I go in there to edit and move to trash. So you can see here, while it was deleted successfully here, on the bottom, the free space is still the same. It did not increase at all. So where did it go? I go into my trash can. It's not there at all. All right, so the question is, where did it go? It's not here. Let's go to the share folder. Let's go to system folder. Let's go to dot local right here. Let's go to share. And let's go to trash right there. There's the trash can. They go to files. You can see there, I got quite a bit of files here. And you can see here, I've got my most recent files that I've just deleted as well. Okay, so it's all there. So I delete all this. Well, let's go ahead and select all, Control A, and then go to edit. And instead of going to move to trash, because I'll put it right back there again, just select remove. Yes. Now notice the free space here should increase. I'm going to let it do its thing. We're going to fast forward this section here with, with the deletion process. It's almost done. And there it is. Look at that. It increased now to 538.9 gigabytes. All right. So again, if you want to delete stuff, just select the file or the folders, go to edit, and instead of select a move to trash just select remove and that will take care of the problem okay and there it is so that's it that's our solution to deleting files permanently well that's a wrap if you found this video useful please go ahead and like it that would really help me out with youtube's algorithms if this is your first time watching a video from Baptist the Nation, then I highly encourage you to check out our YouTube channel as well as our website at BaptistCenterNation.com. That will give you a great overview of what Baptist Center is all about and whether this is something that will meet your emulating needs. Finally, I want you to know that I've got a lot more videos coming up, so therefore please consider subscribing so that you'll stay on top of the latest and greatest from Baptist Center Nation. As a matter of fact, the next videos that we'll be covering will include Xbox emulation and how to set up discrete graphic cards. In fact, I was finally able to duplicate some of the problems that the video graphic cards users were having, and I believe that I might have a solution for those of you who were struggling with your NVIDIA graphics cards. So, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time about the Nation. Bye.